As if the show needed to make me love it even more. Hey guys, it's G from the F Word here to talk about the theory going on that started in the comments on my season two review slash wrap up slash discussion of Berlin and the professor's relationship. They are brothers. Now, I didn't buy into it in the beginning because I know he said that they, you know, he called him brother at the end of it. And I was like, well, maybe it's just more of an affectionate thing. I've got friends that I call brother and they're not actually my brothers. Also, the fact that when he was burning the picture of his dad, you know, for evidence purposes and stuff, they were, he was saying, he's like, your father, not our father. And also, it was just Sergio and his father. And at one point, there was a thing that someone mentioned, too, where he called him little brother. So... All of that has culminated in and has piqued my curiosity. So I went going searching online. I found some stuff on Reddit, more so in regards to them being comrades in something that happened previously. Um, not explaining exactly what it is, but, you know, they had some connection before. And that's why Berlin really felt for and cared for the professor, making sure that he got out above anybody else, no matter what happens. And he sacrificed himself for his little brother and it has been confirmed by the actor who played the professor alvaro morte i google translated the universe as sentido report from portuguese to english there's one thing in there that doesn't really make sense to me and if it makes more sense to you let me know in the comments below it says in there that berlin is his older brother while making the professor his younger brother, and that they actually share the same father but different mother, but that doesn't make sense on the last name part of it. Uh, from what I understand, and based on the fact that he says your father. So my understanding is that they shared the same mother, not the same father. So it could be just a translation thing here. Also in some other posts I saw, they were talking about how they share the same mother, they have different fathers, which would make more sense, again, given their last names and everything. All the, 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 it was just this little thing that the actors did and they just threw in barely enough for you to really let it sink in until the very end. And again, I only saw it as he's just calling him brother affectionately. Like, just, we, we've been in this thing together. I'm, I'm helping you through this. He is a great soldier. He is the one that's been making sure that this plan goes off without a hitch for his little brother. In fact, there was some stuff mentioned that you knew some Russian. So in this report, and what they were clarifying, what the actor was clarifying, was that the professor took Berlin to Russia to help find a treatment for his illness. So that just adds to the connection. But this thing right here, this to me is confirmation. Like I said, I'm going to put the article in the description below and you can Google Translate it. And if I made a mistake in regards to the same father, different mother, or different mother, same father kind of thing, let me know. Um, I mean, I make mistakes in my videos all the time. You guys always pick it up. And I'm grateful for it. So that's what I got out of it. But theory confirmed, which makes this just freaking awesome. Think about it. Start to finish. The fact that they are legit brothers. And I'm going to go back and watch this whole thing again because I want to pick those things up. It just makes sense when you're looking at it now, especially with it being confirmed for sure. But then when you look at it, why would he react the way he did when Berlin gave himself up? Why would he call him little brother, have an intimate moment that he didn't have with many other people? And why was Berlin so hell-bent on making sure that this plan gets exacted? It was like he played off the person that is furthest apart from the professor as being kind of person, sociopathic person. And it just worked out so great because it fooled me and it was great, and I love it, and I love this show, and thank you for everybody in the comments who brought this to my attention so I can research it and find this thing. It's just, just awesome. I love this show even more. So there you go. So let me know if you have other theories of La Casa de Papel. I can't think of any other ones. This one's probably the biggest and the best, um, but let me know anyways. As always, you can find me on Twitter at the F Words G. You can email us at the F Word Podcast at gmail.com. Make sure you're following Entertain Facts on Instagram. And until then, I'm G and I am out.